A buoyant force acts on us at all times. It's negligible compared with our weights. But buoyancy on a gas-filled balloon is appreciable. Let's look at a problem involving buoyancy with such a balloon. Here's a helium-filled balloon tied to the ground. How many forces act on the balloon? Label them with appropriate vectors. We see there are three forces, the buoyant force, the weight of the balloon, and the tension in the string that keeps it in equilibrium. Part B, write an equation for the buoyant force in terms of the vectors. And we see it's BF equals mg plus T. Part C, write an equation for the tension in the string. We rearrange and get T equals buoyant force minus mg. Simple enough. Now let's try a problem with numerical values. Problem 2. A. Lillian has a mass of 48 kilograms. What approximate volume of air has the same mass as Lillian? The density of air at normal temperatures is about 1.20 kilograms per meter cubed. We begin this problem by focusing on what is asked for, volume of air. From density is mass over volume. We see the volume is simply mass over density. And we get 40 meters cubed. That's a whopping lot more than Lillian's volume. Why? Because air is much less dense than Lillian. Let's continue. Here's Lillian suspended from a helium-filled balloon with force vectors noted. Problem 2b. How big would a helium-filled balloon have to be to lift Lillian? Neglect the buoyancy on Lillian herself. Density of helium is 0 0.18 kilograms per meter cubed. Let's look at what's going on here. From the vector diagram, we see that the buoyant force equals the weight of the helium plus the weight of Lil when there's no net force up or down. And buoyant force, after all, is the weight of air displaced, which is the weight density of air times its volume. And canceling Gs. What we don't have is the mass of helium. And that's equal to its density rho times its volume. It's important to realize that the volume of air and the volume of helium are the same. So without the subscripts, we simply label them V, the volume we're looking for. Getting our terms for volume on one side. Solving for V. And citing the densities of air and helium. Problem solved. 47 cubic meters. This is a balloon with a diameter of about four and a half meters. Let me leave you with a question. If in the balloon just discussed, we included the buoyant force of the air on Lillian herself, would the calculation show the balloon size to be slightly bigger, smaller, or the same? Defend your answer. Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.